So my name is Marcus Randolph. I'm a native of New Jersey. I was born in Morristown, New Jersey. Um, and uh, my family moved to Madison when I was a young child, maybe four or five years old. But we continued to do um, a lot of church and social activities in Morristown. Um, and I had family, you know, really all around North Jersey um, from, you know, Morris County, Essex County, uh, the Oranges, Irvington. So did my undergraduate work at Hampton University. Uh, loved it there. The HBCU experience was unparalleled. Uh, and I have a degree in marketing from Hampton. Um, and then I came back to New Jersey in the early 90s, sort of honestly trying to find my way. Um, and worked in Newark for a hot minute <laughs> at uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield. And that was really the right fit for me. Um, and so I went to uh, graduate school in Boston, Northeast University. Uh, got accepted to a program there. Uh, I got a master's degree in business administration. It just so happened that I was living in a dormitory and there was a young minister um, out at, uh, at the time. He had a church around the corner. So started going there and went to his office one day and I said, you know, I'm in graduate school, but to be honest with you, I'm not sure like what I'm going to do with this. I felt like I need to be of service. There was this sort of pulling, I need to be of service to people. Didn't know how I was going to do it. <laughs> didn't exactly know what they were doing, but I was beginning to hear things about people building apartments in their own neighborhoods because they saw the need and they took the initiative. And people uh, trying to get schools and better schools and health centers. And, and I said, that's what I got to do. I got to figure out how I want to get to that. Um, and so I think that started the course for me, you know, I, I, some zigzagging, you know, uh, you know, started my career in finance, but still with the focus of I really want to do this kind of work, and how do I how do I do it? I think I think what I what I did understand early on is there clearly is a financing component to all this, right? You got to make deals work, projects work. We 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 live in a capitalistic society, so you got to figure out how you make get the money and investments in. Um, but given that it was, I felt like it was a uh, it was a calling. And so I want to kind of, kind of combine this sort of practical on the ground approach to community development with the spiritual component as well. And so I went to seminary, so I have a master's degree in divinity from uh, Virginia Union University as well. But most of my work there, I still sort of had this focus on community and economic development. And I wasn't the only one, so I don't want to say it was unique, right? <laughs> But I think that people recognize that, you know, you've got to take care of the whole person, right? You know, um, yes, there's a spiritual component, and um, but also if they don't have a, a food to eat, shelter over their head, you know, we're, we're, we're not taking care of that whole person. And I feel like, you know, all that I've done over these last 17 years, knowingly or unknowingly, right, has sort of been leading me to this position, um, you know, <clears throat> part practical, on the ground finance, but also part advocate as well, uh, you know, to be of service for the people of Newark. So practically, Invest Newark is the city of Newark's economic development corporation. But let's try to break that down, right? Um, you know, what we want to do is lift all Newark people, residents, you know, business community as well, because there's a lot of focus on businesses, you know, that, for the work of Invest Newark. But just to sort of help clarify what we're going to try to do, um, you know, I see um, four big buckets here. Um, the first one is the land bank, which um, is seeing some success. Um, it's fantastic that it, that it does exist, but practically, right, what we want to do is there's land that the city owns, and we want to, we want to reactivate it. Um, some of it is going to be you know, a new home or maybe a two family that pops up on a on a block where there's already other houses. So we want to fill that in. Some of it's going to be larger parcels, you know, that we're going to work, you know, with uh, Deputy Director Allison Ladd, maybe with the private development community, certainly with uh, minority business enterprises to see how we can develop those parcels. Um, so that's practically speaking, right? That's while we're at Invest Newark 
putting these things in place at the land bank, but but what people will begin to see is, oh, hey, look, there's a new house being built here or a new apartment being built. So that's one. Um, the second one is, um, so Nork Fiber has been around for a while. There are some users. We want to increase the number of users. Um, and, and practically there, ultimately, we want everybody in Nork to be able to access reliable, high-speed internet at a very affordable cost. So that again while we're trying to crack the code on how to get out there what people will eventually begin to see is they have this option um, the third one is what I just say sort of generally business development and support there's um, a lot of small business support uh, small businesses in Newark and they certainly need um, you know they need the assistance we're here to help um, I also want to encourage more businesses to come in the town um, learn of those that you know we could help you know maybe help them make their next step um, but I'd also like to see us uh, encourage businesses to bring jobs into the city so that folks that live here don't have to travel so far to go to work there's opportunities right here in the city that they love they're already investing in and they live here you know I would love to see them be able to say and now I have a job you know downtown or Maybe, you know, in another one of the wards, you know, they're hiring. And um, so that's that's another piece. And then the uh, the fourth piece is we're going to be making some investments into uh, projects that are led by black and brown folks, or at least where the majority ownership is. So, you know, in due time, we'll have some more news about this, but we're going to be raising more money into a fund so that we can help drive these investments into these into these projects. Um, and, and again, help people, help lift some people up. You know, oftentimes, um, and this is in cities all across America, but landowners will sometimes just walk away. Um, and uh, they're not paying their taxes, the properties get run down. In some cases, those cities and municipalities can legally take ownership of that. Um, and then for the purposes of you know, really community improvement, but also cities typically do own real estate um, and that might be something that people aren't as familiar with because it's not like you see that sign out there that's owned by the city of Newark or whatever the case may be but those cities own uh, real estate and then have a say in what gets developed there um, and so now we have a wonderful opportunity here to say you know to be to corral these properties and I mean I can say with with, with some certainty you know uh, you know, it's it's hundreds. I think the first tranche was almost a hundred parcels of different sizes. I'm sure the second one will be similarly, similar size. Um, and so we'll we'll be looking for ways to get those active again, um, whether bundling them. And like I said, in, in some cases, it may just be one parcel that's in between two existing houses. Um, and where it makes, I, where the zoning obviously is required, um, we would see residential. But I think that it's an opportunity to be creative um, and, you know, say, OK, we want some home ownership, um, you know, maybe a, you know, maybe only four units works in this neighborhood. But maybe we have another opportunity to do 20 home ownership, you know, uh, opportunities there. If it's downtown and it makes sense, maybe we have an opportunity to do a high rise home ownership. But, um, you know. Maybe we have an opportunity to do uh, some open green space, um, to do a, uh, you know, sort of a mini farm project in, in, uh, in, in collaboration with Greater uh, North Conservancy. So I think this opportunity needs to be creative. I mean, I'm certainly open to hearing all of these. I don't, I don't have, nor will I ever have all the best ideas. Um, so definitely want to collaborate. Being able to help the mayor sort of fulfill his vision, uh, figure out where we fit in on that, it's going to be like, that That really sort of gets me jazzed, right? I just think there's like so much happening here um, in, in Newark and how we can play a part there. I think that, um, you know, Invest Newark's in a, in a good spot to be able to do that. Um, you know, we, we have a little track record. We got some staff. Uh, we have some direction. Um, and now I think it's time for us to just sort of like, kind of expand all that um, and so that we can look back on this in you know 10 years 
and um, you know, be able to point to some things, right? Like, remember we were talking about this idea, and now look at that. There it is, right? There's that program. There's that building. There's that kid who now has high speed internet access um, in his house, and it's you know at a very affordable price. Um, so I'm just I'm really excited, really excited to just have a hand in that. One of the things I'm probably curious about in Newark is, you know, over the years being in Newark, either socially or just volunteer activities, you know, I've just met so many special people who are here, and there's like a unique energy that's in Newark, and, you know, you can see it in different wards, and, you know, I'm just always, I guess I'm a little curious, like, can we figure out how to get all these special people and bring all this energy, like, into the same room sometimes, and let's just figure out, like, what we can do next, like, can you... Can you collaborate with this person and create something new? You know, and can can we be of support? Or this person has a fantastic idea, and um, you know, how can we lift that person? How can we help make that idea, be, you know, become a reality? Um, just getting all those people, I just think that'd be like fantastic if we could figure out how to do that. You know, it'd be uh, you know, uh, it's like a Nork sort of creative slash think tank, right? Just bring them all together and see what you get.